What's going on everybody? My name is Chopper. So today we're going to talk about if Star Wars Battlefront is going to be a good game and whether or not you should buy it. Now before we get into all that, if it's going to be a good game or not, we need to talk about the things that we know to be absolute fact in the game. So I'm just going to get into the first thing. The multiplayer is going to include, as you, if you've seen, uh, if you've been following, you know it's going to include a lot of different characters that each have their own little um, abilities or traits, uh, if that's what you want to call them. Like for example, um, some have little booster packs and they can get around the map quicker, be a little bit more agile, uh, get to objectives quicker, you know, flank. Uh, they're going to be the quick guys. And um, and the old Star Wars Battlefronts, like you had different characters, but they more or less had different abilities. Um, they each had something a little bit different about them. Maybe one was had a little bit more armor, had a better gun, you know, whatever, just stuff like that. But they're actually uh, taking it a step further this year. If you'd be like a pilot, you can be the more tactical guy. Um, you know, call an airstrike, stuff like that. Uh, just be the more support um, person for your team. So they're just taking that a step further. Um, so that, that I think that's definitely a good thing. I'd like to see that. Another thing is that uh, for PC, you will not be able to play split screen. On, yeah, on PC, will not support split screen play. Uh, for consoles, I'm pretty sure that you can. I wouldn't, I wouldn't imagine that you couldn't. I mean, I can only assume since it's console, you can play split screen. It only makes sense, but um, yeah, PC you will not be able to. So that's one thing right there. Um, another thing is that the multiplayer is going to be, you're gonna have games of 20 v 20. And the maps are pretty big, so since it's developed by DICE, right? Which you all know makes the Battlefield series. So this is gonna be a Star Wars themed, but it's gonna feel like Battlefield. So if you like Battlefield, then you'll most likely like this game. Uh, it, it's similar to it, like the vehicles, the vehicle play, the gunplay, everything like that. And create a class, there's um, a create a class system within Star Wars Battlefront. And um, they're, they're taking that up from, they're bringing that another step forward from the old Star Wars games. Which is another, you know, innovative step. Another thing is that DICE, since DICE is a direct competitor with Activision, and since they're launching so close together, Black Ops 3 and um, Star Wars Battlefront, I mean, is that this is a good thing since they're launching so close together <clears throat> because Star Wars Battlefront and Black Ops 3 will have to fight tooth and nail for each sale meaning that the quality of their game will have to be driven up in order to uh, fight for each sale you know what I mean so when Destiny launched it pretty much launched unopposed I don't really can't really think of any other big game that like a huge game that launched by it so uh, Destiny didn't have to be a game with a ton of content to fight for people's sales it just had to be good enough not to get returned and that's not the case for these two games, so I think Black Ops 3 and Star Wars Battlefront are going to be very, very good this year. Now let me know if you guys want to see some Star Wars Battlefront on my channel. I was thinking about posting it, I uh, may, may play a couple games. Let me. Are you guys going to get it too? Let me know what you guys are thinking about this. Another thing is that the graphics are fantastic on Star Wars Battlefront. This truly looks like a next-gen game. Um, Advanced Warfare did look good, but there was a couple things that you know it could have been better. It almost didn't, like the campaign looked very, very nice, but it almost didn't look like a next-gen game compared to Star Wars Battlefront. This was truly built for the next-gen, and I think that's a good thing if you, of course, are into Star Wars Battlefront. So with all the new innovative stuff that they're bringing, the multiplayer, uh, the campaign, everything, all the support that they're giving this game, I would say that Battlefront is going to be a very good game, and I think that you should definitely buy it. Now, I'm not completely biased towards this because... I'm still considering whether I should buy it or not just because I don't know if you guys want me to post it or not you know just if you do I'll probably get it just let me know what you guys are thinking but I definitely would recommend that you get it it's it's turning out to be a very good looking game so far of course you won't know until you actually play it for yourself but from what we've seen it looks fantastic so guys if you did enjoy this please leave this like and subscribe to my channel if you're new uh, thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you guys later